What's up, beautiful people? Looks like it's going to be another dry day, hopefully here in Cornwall. And today we're hoping to go to St Ives on the train. But first we've stopped by, I think it's the biggest woods in West Cornwall, called Tahiti Woods. Because Hannah's mum told us that there was, hopefully, supposed to be, a load of bluebells here, which you want to see. Tahiti Country Park. Is that how you say it? Tahiti. Tahiti. Hopefully we didn't butcher it again this time. <laughs> Listen to all those birds. They're so loud. So loud. They're like doing their morning song. Morning song. That was so... <laughs> oh, goodness me. She did not want that, did she? We've been here about 10 minutes. You've already seen a squirrel take a selfie <laughs> on yeah. your camera. And a swan attack and found the bluebells. Really We're doing well. We like it into Hiddy Woods. So we just set up a self timer pick with the phone in here and us sitting on here and I very nearly fell off straight back into the like private field behind it. It was a struggle. It was funny though. <laughs> Caught them at a good time as well because in a couple of days it'll be over. Yeah, they'll all be gone. The, uh, the squirrels are so confident as well, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Look at this one. You. Just parked up at St Earth Railway Station, which is a few stops away from St Ives, but St Ives is apparently super busy, so we've parked up here and we're going to get the nice scenic coastal train down into St Ives. £2.30 to park, you just pay on an app, and then £4 for the train ticket where you can like hop on and hop off at different bays. And I think Hannah's was £2.65 because she has a rail card. We're here in St Earth and it goes all the way along the coast here and then finishes in St Ives. Nice. How nice was that? So nice, so pretty. And it was literally only two stops. There was, it was one 11 bay. 11 minutes. Yeah, 11 minutes. There was one bay that we stopped at, and then it was like, you are arriving at St. Ives after that. And just up here, that's Gadrivi Point, where we were at a few days ago. On Saturday night. Look at these in the window. They're so cute. Such a cute little street. Such a narrow little street. <laughs>
We just smelled these uh, Cornish pasties as we were walking past and we were just saying walking how pasty. hungry. <laughs> we were saying how hungry we were, so we had to pick up a couple of Cornish pasties. How do they look? <gasps> oh look! Oh god! These are crimped on the side. They're proper Cornish pasties. Yeah. My, uh, my friend messaged me when I put a picture up of a Cornish pasty that I had before in Tintangel. Tintagel. Tintagel. If I get that right, even once I'll be happy. Um, and she said that it's not a proper Cornish pasty unless it's crimped on the side. So now I'm going to feel like I've had a proper one because these are crimped on the side. I've just had pure pastry so far. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. The seagull was very close to taking this right out of my hand. Look, you can see it a bit better there. You got the beef, you got potato, swede, onion, and of course, all wrapped in this delicious pastry. Someone's already finished theirs. I was hungry. High tide in about 40 or 50 minutes according to a board back it's there. It's at 137. 137 to be precise. We've just come for a little walk down along the, this the East Pier. The East Pier to have a little look back over the town and the two little small beaches on this side. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Dead end. <laughs> homemade vegan chocolate carrot chocolate banana and gluten-free lemon blueberry so much Ooh, looks amazing okay. thank you that is a big piece of cake carrot cake your fave. My favorite Porth Gwydden Beach so nice super nice and just down here at the end they've got a bar with uh, passion fruit martinis on tap. on tap so uh this may be somewhere that we have to come back to but first i think we're going to do a little walk see if we can burn off some of the calories of the cake and the pasty and then we can eat some more it's okay okay found a little chapel and it's got a view right over the longer beach that's around the, the back of St. Ives, where all the surfers are, just over here. Good day for it by the looks of it. The wind is definitely picking up now that we're on this side. <laughs> Look at that. And we've got a view over, what's this beach called? Poor Pass. No, wait, we'll we'll, we'll look it up. Porth Muir. Porth Beach. Oh God, I don't know about the pronunciation. Porth Muir Beach, apparently. But yeah, we're gonna go and have a little walk down over here. Maybe get over to the other side, and then probably get out of the wind and go and sit on the more sheltered beach over on this side. Hardly anyone here. Beach to ourselves. All of the 
these windows are so big. Look at this one. There. You'd want a window like that if that was your view. Yeah. You want to make the most of it. Woo! That was a good little walk. Got the chapel up on here somewhere. This is the beach where all the surfers were. Then we just walked all the way around and up to here. Got a nice little Cornish gin and lemonade for me because tonic is rank, but tonic is not the one in my opinion. That's where we differ. <laughs> a bar over here with the um, passion fruit martinis on tap was closed, so we had to go find somewhere else and Cornish gin it was. And it is actually very delicious. It's like super orangey, which is nice. Look at this for a setup. We got the chippies. I'm hiding mine from the seagulls. Chip. This seagull really wants some. It's not happening. And we got the sunset coming up over here. Life is good. Ooh. We made it. Woo. We made it. Oh, it's there as well. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Very good day at St Ives. I've got old socks on. <laughs> Warming up at the radiator now because it's got a, a bit, bit chilly at sunset. But yeah, very good day. Definitely recommend getting the train from St Earth. From St Earth was St. super pretty and made our lives a lot easier. Very hassle free, I think. That hassle day was. free. Very very nice. Except day. for being hassled by a seagull. A seagull wanted our chips so, so bad, badly, <laughs> but didn't get any. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see a little bit more. And thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels good around here. What is it? What is it? What is it? What? I want some chips. <laughs>